Hey guys, Jess from Knockout Print Shop, and today I have a video for you about if I still love my Inkwell Press Planner with the launch of the academic year, the 2019, I think it goes like from July 2019 to June of 2020. So the academic year planner coming out, I thought it was a good time to kind of update my review on if I still love the Inkwell Press Inkwell Press Disc Planner. So I have a list of things that I still love, a list of things that I don't love so much, but at the end of the day, if you wanna not watch all of this, just know I would totally buy this planner again. Okay, so let's start with the things that I love. I'm gonna open my phone here so I remember my list. Okay, so let's start on the outside of the planner. First of all, I love the leather cover. Um, I think it's super durable. I think it looks really professional. It stands up really well. I think the plastic piece here that um, attaches to the discs is durable. And I like just the look of this cover. I had originally bought the, I think this is called the color block cover. I do like this one too, but now I'm a little bit more partial to the solid color and the clean look of it. Um, I do think the leather is probably more durable than this kind of vinyl cover. Um, I think I've seen some people in different Inkle Press Facebook groups talk about um, experiencing some wear and tear already three months in on the corners. If you're somebody that puts your planner in and out of your bag or purse a lot, you may experience that with this kind of cover. Um, I think potentially an update they could make in the future would be to reinforce these with like a, you know, a gold or a metal cap type of thing. I don't know if that would stay with the Inkle Press look or not, but I think just with any planner that's designed like this, the covers anyways, you're going to potentially get some wear and tear if you are the person that's bringing this thing with you a lot. But I do still love my vegan leather cover. The other thing I really do love too are the discs. I wasn't sure if I was going to like this disc system or turning the pages with the disc, but I really do like the Inkle Press disc. I like that they're metal. I like the kind of more brushed gold look of them versus the shiny gold. So I also have these, which are the gold, um, I think these are metal too, the gold uh, discs from Happy Planner. These are a bit wider. I think the ankle ones are one inch. These are one and a half. I wanted to change these out because as you can see, my planner is like busting at the seams because I never take stuff out. Clearly I need to take shit out of my planner. Um, but. The, the discs are awesome. I just wish that Inkle also had a bigger disc as well so I could have this same color. I don't love the kind of more yellowy gold of the Happy Planner ones. So the quality of the Inkle ones are great. I know some people that use disc planners that have like the plastic discs have sometimes problems with the paper sticking. I don't have that problem at all. So if I kind of flip open here, I think the pages flip awesome. So that's definitely one of the things I still love. I think that the the discs are durable, they're aesthetically pleasing, and the paper turns really smoothly, in my opinion. I think there is some people that have experienced some issues with the paper turning. I haven't, so I don't know why some people might be experiencing that. Um, so we got paper, and then obviously what Inkwell is known for, the paper quality. Paper quality is still top notch. I really like the paper quality. Um, I have tried other planners in the past, and I still feel like this paper is probably one of the top ones that you can get out there for a planner. So if paper is a big deal to you, you don't wanna see bleed through or shadowing and you want to have a thicker type of paper to write on, Inkle Press is kind of like, you can't beat it. So paper quality is still awesome. I love that about it. I think the pages again, turn really smoothly within the discs of this system. Um, I'm trying to read my phone here. I think the discs are super durable, but again, I don't take my planner with me. It sits on my desk, so I don't know if people experience maybe nicks or chips on these discs. Um, if you're throwing them in and out of a bag or something like that, so I can't speak to that, but for me, someone that leaves my planner on my desk, it doesn't. There's no wear and tear showing on these after three months. Um, vegan cover is awesome. You can see I'm like looking at my phone. The vegan cover is great. I think it's you know super attractive and also really durable. Again, I don't move my planner around much. The thing I think I like the most about the disc system is the ability to customize it. So I can create different sections if I want. I can add in grid paper if I want. I can add in different elements. And clearly I add in way too many things and never take things out because my planner is way too full. So I hope she'll come out with an inch and a half for these guys. So I never have to take things out of my planner and it cannot be busting at the seams like this. Um, or I could just learn to take things out of my planner. So I do love that you can customize it and make it your own and kind of, you know, you could buy, if you're somebody that doesn't need a lot of uh, weekly spreads, you could buy the monthly inserts and just note paper. You could 
um, only keep certain weeks or certain months. And so it's really nice from that point. It's super flexible that you can create your own system. On the other thing, obviously, if you're buying the add-ons from Inkwell, which are your, you know, your goal planner, your note pages, stuff like that to customize, you can also buy. We have a ton of disc inserts. The happy planner inserts work with it. So you have a really have a lot of options when you go with a disc planner. And for me, I still like the disc over something like a ring binder. I think this is less bulky. It's easier to work with. Um, I just didn't like binders. It just wasn't my jam. So if you want the customizable nature of a ring planner, but you don't want the bulkiness, discs I think are a good um, in between. The last thing that I'd say is not a like or a dislike is the weekly layout. So I don't dislike the weekly layout, but there's certain things that are starting to be not my favorite. Um, so I like the line. So if you're a lined person, you're definitely going to like this, the ankle press. I still love that the ankle press is lined columns versus something like an Erin Condren where it's like those open boxes. And I know she has a bunch of variety. Erin Condren has a lot of different options now, so she might have a lined box as well um, layout. Things I, you know, I used to not mind about it is I don't like this weekly focus part. In the daily boxes, I'm kind of like, eh, about, but we'll talk about that more later. Um, so I think... I like the layout. There's things I could, I would change. I'm going to talk about that more in a second, but this is kind of the ankle press layout. So I don't think something like there's going to be very many parts of the weekly layout that are going to change because this is the, her planner. So let's talk about the things I don't like about this planner. Let's start with the obvious one, the crappy dividers. So when this planner was advertised, obviously the big pitch was it's going to cost a lot initially because you're going to be buying your discs, you're going to buy your cover, and you're going to buy your dividers. But then next year, you're only going to have to replace the inserts. Well, fast forward two months later, and people have just had tons of issues with these dividers, which a lot of people anticipated that did various reviews on this planner. So it's just not since these these tabs themselves are not reinforced with um what is it like mylar or laminate they wear and tear pretty easily so if you're definitely somebody that's taken this thing in and out of a bag you know even though it's somewhat protected by the cover these are going to bend they're going to start to tear it's not super thick cardstock yes it's kind of a glossiness to it so it's not going to get roughed up here quite as much but these are going to start to show where I mean I never use this one this is my flex and I don't really use this and you can already see that there's wear and tear on these um, I also don't love the colors I think if she does these again the color there should be two options which I know somebody else said this on YouTube as well that it'd be nice if these dividers coordinate them better with the with the covers I think this one does okay but then there's this weird green that doesn't really go so and then the other covers pink but the dividers are green. Only we're all only offered in green. So I think the dividers suck. Um, if you're somebody that lays your planner on your desk all the time and you never move it, you probably could get away with these dividers. But I still think they're not super durable. They're going to start to break over time and just tear. And just this paper is not durable. Now we created a workaround for this because we didn't. You know, lots of people were complaining my dividers are falling are falling apart. What do I do? So we now offer in our shop the clear the frosted plastic dividers and then you can also buy the labels from us so this is a way to exchange out your ankle press dividers to buy a set of these or if you want to keep the ankle press dividers and just create additional add-on sections to your planner you can do that ankle press has said they are going to be coming up with a solution to their divider problem for the next planner the 2020 planner not the academic year that's coming up here in a week so they're not even selling dividers for the academic year planner. So if you're someone that's buying the academic year planner, you either A, need to make your own dividers, B, not care about having dividers, or C, purchase dividers from us or other people that are selling disc punched dividers. So those are going to be your options for the academic year. So the dividers were a total fail. Um, I think that Inkle realizes that and is in the process of fixing it, but obviously they couldn't fix that in a short period of time with how far in advance they have to order things. Um, the other thing I'm not a fan of this year was the color schemes. Now they started to grow on me as the year as the year has gone by so far. So let me flip here too. Um, you got your Cinnamon Bay. My thing is totally crooked today. You have your Cinnamon Bay, which is okay. Everglades, Blue Ridge, and um, Yosemite. 
I'm not a huge fan of these colors. I don't think there's a lot of variety in each palette. I don't think there's a lot of variety within the palettes. These are probably out of all the years I've been with Inkle Press, my least favorite color schemes that she's offered, which is why when you buy her stickers, we do have an additional color that we added that complements the palette in some of these palettes just to jazz these up. They're not the worst colors ever, and I've, again, learned to like them, but they're not my favorite. With that said, the colors of a planner are not like a deal breaker for me as long as it's a more muted color. I'm not into bright, whimsical colors, so I'll still stick with Inkwell despite my not loving the, the 2019 colors. If you do academic year, guys, these colors are exactly the same. She does not change the colors from the 2019 release, the calendar year, to the academic year. These all will be the same colors, whether you get the planner for January start or for July start. Um, the other thing that totally sucks is this bookmark. So at this point, this thing basically is a piece of crap falling apart. Now, that said, I think that all of these kind of rulers suck. I know people have said other brands have the same issue with their planners, whether it goes in the coil bound planner or in the disc bound. Um, but these little nub things fall off. This thing is like hanging on by like one or two nubs. We have thought about playing around with making a bookmark out of our product because it is a little more flexible. Most likely it will have less issue with being moved in and out of the planner as much and these things shouldn't break off, but I can't, we haven't made that yet and I'm not for sure that's gonna be a reality. So I don't know if the this bookmark issue is just a matter of the material that has to be used and the nature of it being taken in and out so frequently. With that said, I think this should be free. I think the bookmark should come with all of the planners for free. I think it does come with the coil. Don't quote me on that. But I don't think this should be something you have to pay for. I think this should come in with the set of inserts if you buy, you know, the classic, you know, weekly or the flex weekly. So bookmark sucks. Um, let's see. I also think, which I don't have, oh, I do have the note pages. I do think one of the downfalls so far of this system is that her non-dated add-ons went out of stock. So the grid paper, the dot grid paper, the gold planner, all of that stuff went out of stock a couple of, I think over a month ago, um, which prompted us then to make our grid paper in the two different sizes because people wanted, you know, the part of this, the main thing of this planner is it's customizable. So to not have the non-dated add-ons available year round seems a bit silly to me. Um, I, you know, I don't know how they do their ordering and their planning as far as like how much stock to keep in, but I think that's something they need to work on is definitely having their year round evergreen type of accessories and add-ons available all the time so they don't sell out. Now the grid paper, the Inkle Press grid paper is supposed to, she said, will be in stock for the academic launch. So stock up on that if you want the regular grid, which has been redesigned with a new header, um, or the... Uh, dot grid and the goal planner I think I think those are maybe not the goal planner actually I don't think the goal planner I think just the dot in the 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 grid paper so if you need some of her paper and stock up on that obviously her paper is thicker than ours and the same nice ankle press paper but if you want um so if you want that you're gonna need to grab that during the academic year launch I have no idea how many they have in quantity in stock and if it will eventually quickly go out of stock again and then everyone's going to have to wait till the fall launch in September. I have no idea. But if you need an intermediate solution, we do have grid paper as well. It's just not obviously the quality of the Inkle Press paper. So that's just the thing I think is silly about this planner. Um, and then the last thing that I kind of like don't like, we'll talk about this a little bit, is the layout. Is I used to like the daily boxes. Oh, I'm trying to find a blank page so it's not chaotic. Um, I used to really like the daily boxes, now I'm kind of sick of them. Um, with that said, I don't know the daily boxes will ever go away because this is kind of her signature branded layout. Um, but I personally, I think I would be fine with just a lined column or maybe outlined boxes that have the color in them so it's not quite as in your face. I don't hate the bottom colors of each month. Let's see, so you have the green, and cinnamon bay you have the pink and here you have the blue so it's not horrible but anything you put down sticker wise if you are a sticker person is gonna you know ideally need to coordinate with these colors so if you are using stickers from shops that aren't inkwell press based it sometimes can be a little bit harder to coordinate without it looking insane um let me show you my recent insane spread so when i did my game of thrones spread here 
Uh, let's see. You can see that this kind of looks insane because the red and the green doesn't look great together. So sometimes it's a limitation with these boxes down here. Um, and it can be, so for some people stressful, like, oh, I need to find the three perfect things to put in these boxes. I've kind of let go of that and I just keep a running list going down or use these as I need to on any given day. But I think they kind of are annoying. Um, that's at least how I feel about it right now. But that's not a deal breaker for me. I still like this layout as far as the line columns. It's clean, it's neat. I don't love the sidebar. I like the note section. I don't like the weekly focus. I wish this was just a solid note section or maybe had the month little mini calendar there. So I think there are a few things that could definitely be changed with the physical layout. The mission board is fine. I know some people use it, some don't. I've been using it right now. I'm neutral on it. Um, and then the monthly is fine. I mean, how much can you go with the monthly calendar? Obviously you have this banner up here. Um, that has the color of the particular month, which is fine for me. I just use this as a calendar. So the colors are not, again, a deal breaker. Even though I don't love them, they're not a deal breaker. Daily boxes, I don't love them, but they're not a deal breaker. So overall, I think the weaknesses are the dividers, the bookmark sucks, the color schemes are eh this year, um, the fact that the non-dated um, add-ons are not available year-round is kind of silly, and then obviously some layout things, but I don't know that that'll change and those are not deal breakers for me. So overall, I still think this is an awesome planner. I think it's a good quality. The paper's awesome. The discs are great. It looks nice. The layout is functional. I like their focus on goals. Um, I do think the goals system is, you know, use, has some room for adjustment that can make it more effective. Um, but if you're someone that just likes to have some good running to-do lists and wants a, a somewhat customizable planner, that uh, has nice paper, I think this is a great planner. So if you're thinking about it, you're new to it, or you're new to the disc, um, I would say give it a go. I do think it's worth the money. The discs are great, the covers are great, the paper's great, with the planner itself is great. Um, the dividers aren't even available, so don't worry about those. If you need them, you can get them from us if you'd like. Um, the bookmark sucks, and I think that's it. I'm kind of repeating myself. So overall, definitely would suggest buying it again. Um, I don't, I personally have tried a few other planners and nothing yet for me compares to this, and I'm really used to it now in a groove of Thinkful after being with the, this planner for three years now. Um, next thing I have to do is just make my own planner, guys, so we'll see, maybe that's the solution. So I hope that was helpful if you guys are thinking about getting the disc planner or just an Inkle Press planner in general for the academic year, which launches on April 23rd on the Inkle Press website. I know the disc planner is what she's pimping out right now and is gonna be available on inklepress.com. I don't know about the coil. She hasn't mentioned anything about the coil brown or the, the coil free yet. I'm assuming those will be available in Office Depot, but she has yet to announce that, so I don't know. All right, guys, so let me know if you have any questions in the comments, and I will see you in the next one.